So there's a reason why your phone's battery health is dropping faster than a hot potato. And it's in the way that you are charging your phone. Now, there are a few battery myths that we've carried over from the early days of phones, which no longer apply today. And one of those myths is that if you buy a brand new phone, you have to drain it down to 0% and then charge it to 100% so that you increase its capacity and uh, the battery can last longer. Now, whilst that was true then, doing it these days will actually destroy or ruin your phone. And I'll explain why to you. But before I do that, I want to explain why they did what they did back then. In the early days of mobile phones, manufacturers used to prefer nickel cadmium batteries and eventually nickel metal hydride batteries. Lithium batteries were also available, but the technology had not yet been fully perfected like it is today. Now, the problem we had with nickel cadmium batteries is what is called the memory effect. Essentially, the battery could remember its previous shorter charging cycle. For example, if you constantly plugged in your phone, when your battery was at 60%. The battery will set 40% as your battery's full capacity, and you'd lose 60% because of that. But if you drained your batteries the whole way to 1% and recharged, you'd maintain your battery's capacity. This was more prevalent in nickel cadmium batteries and nickel metal hydride batteries, but to a lesser extent. Now, lithium ion batteries do not suffer a lot from that memory effect. So people have carried over the habits they had with nickel cadmium batteries and nickel metal hydride batteries to lithium batteries. Hence, you're destroying your battery's health. And here's why. Constantly draining your battery to very low levels is a concept known as over discharge. This leads to a chemical reaction in the battery, which leads to the copper in the battery dissolving. And when you charge your phone again, the copper will plate to other parts of the battery, thereby leading to a reduced capacity of the battery. This may also lead to the damage of the solid electrolyte layer in the battery. Once that layer is broken, lithium can react in unwanted ways. If you've ever seen a swollen battery in a phone or a laptop, it's because of this. So don't allow your battery to reach very low levels. Actually, it is advised that you charge your phone when it gets to about 40 and 50%. Now, inversely, charging your phone to 100% also damages your battery through high voltage stress to the battery and the thickening of the solid electrolyte layer, which also leads to reduced capacity of the battery. Now, this is an oversimplification of the chemical process that takes place in the battery when you overcharge it. Now, the good news is that most phones come with a battery management system, which helps you protect your battery and here are some other ways you can protect your battery health don't keep your phone plugged in for the whole night if you do make sure that you have enabled optimized battery charging which cuts off battery charging before it gets to 100 percent avoid fast charging your phone every time avoid fast charging your phone when it's too hot or too cold avoid draining your battery to zero percent use regular slow charges to charge your phone Try to use good quality chargers and charging cables from reputable companies. Keep your phone cool and don't put it under pillows or in hot cars. Don't, for example, play games whilst your phone is charging. Don't leave your phone not charged for a long period of time. Now, if you maintain these good habits, you can guarantee that your phone battery's health will be maintained for a very, very long time. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.